I don't know what to say. All of those things you said about me are true. I have been a very bad mother to you. I have no excuse. I just have this horrible, overwhelming desire to point out faults in you. I don't know where it comes from. And maybe it's because I'm self-conscious about being a bad parent. I'm just, I'm so disgusted with my behavior, and, and I'm so sorry, Meg. Yeah, you're a bitch. Well, you know, I, I've been sort of just hanging back here, taking all this in, because I didn't think I had a dog in this fight, but my money's on Harry Potter over there. Oh, you think that's funny, fat ass? Well, I don't know if it's funny. I, I think it's clever. I mean, you, you got the big glasses there. I, I, I don't know. T -t 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 tell, me, tell me what's on your mind. Oh, I'll tell you, Mr. Selfish-Ass Dad. Hey, that's Mr. Mr. Selfish-Ass Dad to you, young lady. Oh, God, is she going to do me next? You are completely selfish and totally irresponsible as a father. All right, I see what's going on here. You're in love with your old man. You have no education. You have no interest. You just do whatever reckless thing you want to do whenever you want to do it without regard for anyone else. Oh, 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 and when you're not terrorizing the community with your impulsive escapades, you're being a total jerk to your family. You shove your daughter's face in your ass and you fart on it. <laughs> God, if someone in the outside world could see the way you treat me, you would be in jail. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, this is amusing to you. We'll see if you find this funny. I like where this is going. You're a fat, lazy, abusive, blue-collar Irish Catholic dad who drinks way too much and barely makes enough money to support his family. You've lived half your life and you have nothing to show for it. Your only arguable accomplishments are your kids. And look at us. We're a disaster. Hey, watch it. You're a total and complete embarrassment in every possible way. Take a good look at yourself, Peter Griffin. You're a waste of a man. Wait a second. These are criticisms. Hey, Lois, tell her to knock it off. Oh, and where the hell were you when she was laying into me? I was thinking about getting a fancy cane. Maybe getting more attention from strangers. Have either of you guys been listening to me? Do you both just have your heads up your asses? Dad did. Look, he's got crap on his ears. That's unrelated. Chris, I don't like that language. Well, I don't like your cooking. Well, I don't like having to literally empty the farts out of your pockets whenever I do your laundry. You're the one who's always cooking Brussels sprouts and broccoli. It's like an Irish bar fight down there. You're from one town over, so I hate your guts. <laughs> Why don't we ever get any good food? Yeah, Bonnie gives Joe Wonder Bread. Well, then go live at Bonnie's house. Then I could finally sleep in and not have to answer your stupid questions at 5 a.m. My curiosity peaks in the morning. You eat all my Dan and yogurts. I don't see your name on them. You don't even like them, but you know I do, and you don't want me to have them. You know, I've never confronted you on it, but I've often thought the same thing, Peter. Yeah, that's exactly what he does, because he's a selfish, fat idiot. You shut up, all of you. I didn't ask to be in this family. Uh, I'll go get him. Peter, you come back here. I faked all my orgasms. Hey, what's going on? You know, that was, uh, that was pretty cool the way you finally stood up to everybody. I don't know, Brian. I, I mean, I, I meant every word of it, but... You saw what happened. What do you mean? They all turned on each other like a pack of wolves. Well, so what? That's not your problem. Do you think it's possible that... that this family can't survive without some sort of lightning rod to absorb all the dysfunction? Well, that's a... it's a theory, I guess. I mean, it, it's not ideal, but it's an important piece that maybe it's just my lot in life to provide. Maybe if I feel bad, they don't have to. Wow. You know, that's incredibly noble and mature, Meg. You know, I think you might be the strongest person in this house. You mean that, Brian? Absolutely.